So uh, this is our DNA, our genetic material. <clears throat> and in every single cell in our body, we have genetic material that encodes for the creation of a human being. And this, uh, this information is stored in DNA and is written with a very simple chemical language containing only four letters or four bases, A, T, G, and C. And changes to this information or damages to the DNA can have very serious consequences. So what are those consequences? Well, for instance, DNA damage mutations can cause cancer, and they are also seen as an important or important contributing factors to normal biological aging. How then do these DNA damages occur? What, how, how do we get them? Well, it turns out that DNA, in spite of being the carrier of genetic information, actually has limited chemical stability. Our first Nobel Prize laureate, uh, Thomas Lindahl, demonstrated that there are a number of spontaneous chem chemical processes in our cells that take place all the time and that breaks down the DNA slowly. For instance, just one of these processes is what you have here. Normally in the DNA you have base pairs between C and G, two different bases. But sometimes what happens is that the C breaks down and forms a U instead. U is a <coughs> base or a letter that you would normally not found, find in the DNA. And uh, there must be some way to get rid of this. Thomas Lindel calculated that we, this reaction happens about 200 times in every living cell every day. So over time, we would actually lose all our Cs. Thomas speculated there must be a repair system, and he went out to search for it. And he could indeed find one, which a repair system that we now know, now know as base excision repair. What this, this system can do is that it can recognize the U in the DNA, it can flip it out and take it away, and then the number uh, set of other reactions replace the U with the correct C again. This is just one of many types of base repairs that the base excision repair system can take care of. We, now know, we know today that there are more than hundreds of different lesions to DNA that can be repaired by the base excision repair system, and it guards the information in our genomes. DNA mutation may also arise during DNA replication, which is the process when the genetic material is copied. And when do you need to copy the DNA? Well, that is when a cell is going to divide, you need to take the genetic information in the first cell and you need to, to make two copies that can go to the two daughter cells. And in order to do this, you need to replicate or copy DNA. And what happens then is that the double-stranded DNA is split open like this. And each of the two original strands are used as templates to synthesize new companion strands. And during this process, it is extremely important that we recreate exactly the same base pairs that were in the original, original DNA molecule, like this one, a TA. But on very rare occasions, one in a million, there is actually uh, uh, an error introduced. There is a base coming in that shouldn't be there. And we call these incorrect bases mismatches. <clears throat> 